Okay, y'all, I'm at it again. I'm late for work again, but there's this great story that I wanted to tell you. It really has had an effect on me because I've seen God work so incredibly, so miraculously with signs and wonders. Wow. I, I, growing up, I was a churchman, but I didn't even no, no. I mean, that's all in the past and you know, we don't really expect that to happen, this incredible miracle. So I want to build your faith by telling you about this incredible miracle. And while you're hearing the story, I want you to think about your story. And maybe it's not you, although maybe it is about you and your health. Maybe it's about a family member. May I don't know. All I know is that to tell this story excites me for you. And so um, here it goes. I was in chapel one day. It wasn't my turn to preach in staff and student chapel. So I was uh, seated in the front row, minding my own business. And I noticed that a new student, um, about 50 years old, named Brett, um, actually jumped up, clutched his heart, and ran out the door. And I thought, okay, that can't be good. So I jumped up and ran out the door after him. And Justin, actually a security guard, jumped up and ran after me. And so I caught him in the hall. I said, Brett, what is wrong, honey? And he said, I think I'm having a heart attack. And I said, I have a, I have a cuff in my office. Let's go check right now and see what your blood pressure is. So Justin was there. And so we did his, his blood pressure was sky high. And I said, Justin, take him to ER right now. And so he did, and we prayed for him in chapel. And um, sure enough, uh, you know, he called me from the hospital to tell me what, you know, I said, call me and tell me what is going on. So he called me and he said, well, as it turns out, um, this is what was happening. I actually have a 90% a blockage blood clot in my right calf. And what happened was this, a piece of this blood clot broke off, traveled up, and got lodged in my heart. And that's what I was feeling that day. It was the heart was not able, it was having a hard time passing this blood clot. And um, he said, actually, it did pass it. And it is now uh, lodged in the carotid artery right here. And my, my cardiologist is telling me that the next stop is the brain. And then you know, you, nobody makes it past that, you know, you're done. And so I'm going, this is not good news. What, what is he suggesting? And he said, well, he said, I'm going to give you some medication. And it, it has the ability to slowly dissolve that, that uh, clot in the carotid artery in hopes to save your life. And he said, but I have to see you every week because I need to check it you know, every week. So he was indigent. So of course they let him go and he came home. And so he's with us again the next week in chapel. It's actually my turn to speak. And so I, you know, I, I said, I think God wants to heal bipolar. And so if that's you, raise, do stand up. And because, um, we require, or we believe that if you want your healing, then you're required to stand step up, step out, do something to show that you concur with this, you know, with what God's saying. So about nine people stood up in um, staff and student chapel. And so I, I prayed a simple prayer about bipolar, you know, that God healed those brains. And so wild story, Brett told me later that that day he stood up for that, but he said what happened was his while I was praying for bipolar, his calf, his right calf was on fire. It was so uncomfortable. It was like somebody was searing his calf with um, fire. And then it happened in his neck right here where the carotid artery just searing fire and burning and uh, uncomfortable and painful. Um, and he thought at the time, he thought, I wonder, do you think, God, are you healing me? And um, but he never said a word because he was too frightened. So that was on a Wednesday. The next week, he goes back to his cardiologist and uh, they run a test to see how's this doing over here, this blood clot. And uh, the doctor walked in the door room and he looked at Brett and he said, I'll be back. And he walked out the door and Brett's like, what are we doing here? The guy comes back in and he goes, 
I just had to consult with a colleague. He said, because I'm this is not making sense. And uh, so he said, I want to ask you a question, Brett. What have you been doing? And Brett said, well, I've been at Faith City getting clean and sober uh, from drugs and alcohol. He says, no, 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 really, what have you been doing? And he said, that's all I've been doing. I've been at Faith City. I'm trying to get clean and sober. And um, the doctor was dumbfounded. And Brett said, what's going on? And he said, well, I've seen your blood clots. I've, I've seen them with my very own eyes. And yet... They're both gone. I, they're not there. And I had to call in a colleague to say, what? Here's what we saw and here's what we're seeing. And there's no medical explanation for this. And uh, I'm telling you, the doctor was irritated and agitated. And Brett, darling, so cute. I love new believers. He goes, well, let me ask you a question, doctor. He said, do you believe in God? And the doctor said, well, I believe in Allah. And Brett said, well, it was Jesus Christ that healed me. And I'm telling you, I love that story. And Brett, he was supernaturally, miraculously healed. And, you know, I'm going, God, I thought you told me bipolar. And uh, I thought, well, they both start with B, blood clot, bipolar. Sometimes I think God just messes with me. I really do. I think he's just laughing his head off up, up there. But I don't care as long as, you know, he, his mercy comes and changes lives where we work, where I work. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, to participate in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, what a, what a joy. The joy of my life is to be able to lay hands on somebody and see him healed. And the medical community certifies it. It's unbelievable. So this is my deal. I am actually believing for a healing for myself right now. And um, I'm reminding myself, okay, you know, we, the rubber's meeting the road here, Jenna, because you have a really bad shoulder. And so let's, uh, that keeps me up at night. And, and so I'm, I am committed to trusting God for this. If he can heal and dissolve two blood clots, he can heal this pain in my shoulder, no matter what's causing it. And so I'm hoping for you that you can do the same, that you can so no, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make a stand here and I'm going to choose to believe even when I don't see things happening, I'm still going to choose to believe and I'm going to see what God does, what he shows up and does. And I promise you, I've seen it so many times now. It, he just does. He just shows up and he is amazing. He is so, I know this sounds almost, you know, trivial, but y'all, Jesus is amazing. He is amazing. Anyway, got to stop, go to work again, late. But just had to share that with you this morning on this dreary um, November morning. I love these days. They, I love fall. So, and I love seeing God work. God bless you and take care today. Believe. Just step out and believe. Just make a stand and stand firm no matter what you see or hear in Jesus' name. Amen.